Hello, ladies and gents. Now, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was announced at E3, and it'll be coming to the Switch in December, which is a pretty smart move because, you know, it's right before Christmas, and I'm sure they don't want to cut into the sales of Pokemon Let's Go, which... The thing is, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for Pokemon, and I thought Pokemon Go was a cool idea, but... I don't know, man. I, th I, th I just don't see a whole lot of people who downloaded a free-to-play game two years ago running out to buy a $60 game, let alone a $300 system. But we'll have to wait and see. Back to Smash Brothers. Uh, I'm wondering if this will end up being the last Smash Brothers game. Let me explain. For me to explain, let's turn back the clocks a bit. Back when Brawl was coming out <clears throat> for the Wii, and it was like postponed because they were adding more characters. First, it was postponed because they were adding Ike and somebody else, I forget who it was, and then it was delayed again because Sonic was coming in. And I was like, when I heard about Sonic, I was like, oh, this game's gonna be huge. Um, fast forward a few years, or quite a few years, and the fourth game was coming out for the Wii U. And <clears throat> we got Mega Man coming and Pac Man, and then. Obviously, the first-party characters, more first-party characters, and I remember what I said with Brawl, I was like, how I said that game was going to be huge, I'm like, this one's going to blow the roof off the house. But, with Ultimate coming, whew, this one's, it's going to blow the house to the sun. <laughs> but it's, um, everyone's in it. Every character who's been cut or replaced over the years, and there's also some newcomers, uh, including Ridley, which I'm really psyched about, because, um, well, if you watched my countdown video that I did back in February about characters I wanted to see get into the next Smash Brothers, you know that Ridley was my number one first-party choice. And, uh, the other reason I'm excited for that is because <laughs> all the years of the sheep, whose only excuse for him not being in there is, oh, he's too big, and, like, even though that's been debunked a number of ways over the years, so, and now he's finally in there, so, um, Anyway, um, the thing is, there may be even more characters that we don't know about. You know, like, I like surprises. And not only that, but who's to say that down the road, like a year or so after the game's released, they won't put in DLC again? You know, and if that's the case, you know, with Nintendo and Microsoft doing crossplay, if they do some negotiations and stuff, Maybe we can finally get a rare character in Smash Brothers. I know a lot of people want to see Conker or Banjo Kazooie. Personally, I'm like, <laughs> mm, good characters and all, but give me Battletoads or Jago from Killer Instinct. That's what I'd like to see from Rare. Um, now let me get to the point here. The thing is, with such a big roster, I mean, oh damn, <laughs> All Star Mode's gonna be insane. Just think about that. With all this giant roster, the thing is. Let's say, five years from now, Nintendo announces that they're working on a new console. So, people are going to be like, oh, is there going to be a new Smash Brothers game? How are they going to top this one? You know what I'm saying? Like, how is this one... Like, how can they... This one that's coming out now, how can years down the road, can they blow that one out of the water? I, personally, I, I don't see how that can happen. But, I mean, I could be wrong. We'll never know. I mean, we'll... Like I said, the only time will tell the future or whatever. But, um, the other thing is, think of how much pressure is put onto Sakurai with each game. You know, he has to really, like, think outside the box with every new game and stuff, and, like, trying to appease to everyone and such, like, because it's like, how is he gonna appease the old fans and keep new ones and stuff, and it's just... I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, on the top of the fact, the guy's got tendonitis in his shoulder for years, so he's got... How much, like... Just to work on every new game and make it bigger and better than the previous one, it's... It's just... I feel like it's ta really taking its toll on him, and at some point, he's just gonna be like, Okay, I I'm done. No more. No more. <laughs> um, you know, plus the... You know, I'm sure with every game, no matter how good it is, it still gets negativity, especially when it comes to, like... Say the Melee fanboys, for example, who are like, Oh, Melee was the best, all the ones after that were trash. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice argument there, bud. Nice constructive uh, argument. 
Hey, let me do it for you. I have a theory. See, I think... I think a lot of these people, when we're in college at the time, when Melee was the current Smash Brothers, and, you know, they spent out... They were up all Saturday night with their friends partying, playing Melee and stuff. And then, uh, years later, when the new Smash Brothers games came out, they were like... Them and their buddies are all, you know, working full-time jobs. Some of them are starting families, you know, having kids and stuff. And it's like, because they're all on different schedules, they don't have the time to get together and play the new Smash Brothers games. So it's obviously not as fun as those Saturday nights. So they just come out and say, like, yeah, the new one sucks. It's, it's not as good. Just because they're not having as fun, but whatever. So, yeah, it's the only thing I can think of is... Maybe if they did like an HD remasters of the first three games or maybe trying to reboot it or something, but I don't know. Like I just, I don't know, something tells me this might be the last Smash Brothers game unless, like I said, they can really find a way to blow this one out of the water years from now, but uh, that being said, what do you guys think? Do you think this will be the last Smash Brothers game? If not, how can they make another, the sixth game even better than the fifth? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Just don't break your electronic devices. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.